Well, guys, exciting news. We fixed Zach's car with one Chris app positioning sensor, all right? That thing is literally so loud. It's gonna be your second official drive of the LS Swap New Edge, but this time we should have full throttle, right, Zach? Yeah. Full throttle, let's go. Biggie, right? Yeah, I need a carbon front bumper anyway. Yeah. Now that was successful, wasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't bad. I mean, for NA, it's NA. I mean, it's got, I think it's got a 273 gear in it with the 7.5. Okay, so not a lot of acceleration, but hey, it is what it is. Just a little V6. Just an old V6. Zach thinks he can beat me in the old 5.3 truck. I'm gonna show him what a 5,000 pound truck's made out of. Sure enough, this thing is hella stock and it's a six speed, so he's got a three speed. We'll see what that little guy's got. Zach wants gap, Zach gets gap. Ready? Ready? <laughs> on and I didn't even throttle so ha ha take that one Zach so for the next two hours I'm gonna be putting in the summits new torque converter that they warrantied out for me thank you summits I appreciate it I also did get a new uh, three core radiator thank you Sydney this one's a big three core a lot bigger than the old one got the brake booster so tonight it's gonna be a late night it is 8 o'clock now, you guys can't tell. But I need to get to work and I'm already tired. So, first things first, let's get the torque converter on tap. Transmission's out. I'm actually covered in transmission fluid. I thought I could just take it out the easy way, and as soon as it dropped down, it just started spilling. Okay. Just drain your fluids. I don't know why I keep trying to save it, it's not okay. But, it's out. New one needs to go in. 
not doing that tonight. I'm already tired and I'm already mad. New torque converter in. I really hope this works. I really, really, really hope this works. I got the new brake booster in too. That should be no issue now. Um, so now all I gotta do is put some fluid in there and uh, let's see what she can do. It is 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I might not rev it up. I might just check the fluid. So I might just let it idle. I do have the garage door actually closed. So the neighbors should thank me a little bit. So let's go ahead and start filling up some fluids. got fluid so uh, let's go testing in the morning of course let's go ahead and get rebuckled in because the GoPro died the worst possible time race car life you know buckle one for luck buckle two for surety and buckle three because things are about to get real there it is yeah come back alive boy so this is gonna be the first test run with the new torque converter that Summit sent me. It's the same exact one that I have. It's supposed to stall to probably three grand is what they're saying it should stall to. So let's go ahead and find out if that's true or not. So far everything's looking just fine. I'm cruising at 60 miles per hour, 173 on the tip and everything seems fine right now. Let's go ahead and head to the spot. I mean, I could see what it stalls out right here at. I don't think anybody's behind me. No, it's, it goes the 2000 and sits there. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. I guess we can make a pass. I just, I honestly don't know where to go. I really don't. I just really don't know where to go. <sighs> like this car, don't get me wrong. This car is just so much fun to drive. I just wish I could go faster with it, especially with the torque converter I have. I don't know, maybe I need to swap tire. Maybe I need to get out of the, the radial. Uh, so I got the Mickey Thompson ET Street um, Radial Pro. That's what it was, the Radial Pro. Um, maybe if I swap to a Hoosier, and lower the air pressure, maybe that'll help because these are supposed to be um, a little bit higher on your PSI. Like I'm running, I want to say 18 or 20, like or 18 to 20 actually on the air pressure. Um, maybe I just need to drop to like a Hoosier and run like five. So I don't know, maybe that's my next step. Uh, but actually the next race is going to be Zach and I. Uh, Zach's car actually broke down like 
at least eight times the other day and it was quite awful pushing it back and forth. We think it's the battery. We got a battery right over there. We're gonna try to use that one and hopefully that'll work and make everything work. But like I said, I don't know where to go from this point. If you guys know anything, leave it down below. So if you guys like this video, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.